Today, I'm going to introduce a very effective grafting technique that almost nobody else is doing. This grafting method has several advantages. One, the scion is firmly secured onto the rootstock, significantly increasing the graft success rate. Two, grafting tape is easy to wrap around the joint, making the entire operation simpler. Three, after grafting, the resulting grafted trees are very clean and aesthetically pleasing. However, one key requirement of this grafting method is that the scion and rootstock must have the exact same diameter. Despite this, the grafting technique itself is extremely straightforward. At the end of this video, I'll show you the results three months after grafting. While today's demonstration uses a mango tree, you can apply this method to virtually any type of fruit tree. What is grafting? Grafting is a horticultural technique in which branches or buds are cut from one plant and joined onto another, allowing them to grow as a single integrated plant. Unlike seed propagation, which is sexual reproduction and results in offspring with variable traits, grafting preserves the desirable genetic characteristics of the parent plant. This ensures that the resulting fruit trees have the qualities you're aiming for. One fascinating aspect of grafting, in my opinion, is that although the rootstock and scion are genetically different, they exist in nutritional symbiosis. Specifically, the rootstock sends water and nutrients from the roots to the scion, while the scion provides assimilates produced through photosynthesis back to the rootstock. Because each part performs distinct functions, grafting offers numerous advantages. While people often focus on the fruit quality and yield improvements achieved through the scion, the choice of rootstock can also significantly enhance certain traits. These include tolerance to stress from heat or cold, soil adaptability, resistance to pests and diseases, and even dwarfing properties. Additionally, grafting allows propagation of tree species that are difficult to multiply through other methods. For example, it is useful for propagating horticultural varieties that produce no seeds, or for trees that are challenging to root by cuttings or air layering. Techniques like root grafting can help restore vigor to weakened trees. Recently, innovative practices such as joint grafting, which involves grafting at the above ground level to increase productivity, have also been developed. I highly recommend trying out grafting yourself. I grow fruit trees in Japan and regularly share cultivation techniques and other useful information. Please subscribe to my channel for more valuable content.